Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and here we are with another episode of our Let's Play series, episode 3 of Farming Simulator. Um, now, I've had a few problems trying to record this episode a few times now, because every time I try to use Auto Drive, it goes and freezes on me. And I'd made a few changes to the game's HUD display while I was gone, and I thought maybe that had something to do with it. I reduced the HUD display from 100% down to 70%, so... We're going to try to do that pretty soon and see if it works out. Alright, so notice I spawned in here. That's because I have a welcome mat, which allows me to place a spawn point and a sleep point for the game. I finished cutting down my trees, which was a good money maker. Then my garage I paid for. This is a place for me to repair. Just got to back the vehicles in and go to here and hit repair and or sell. can sell there as well. Um, and then over here, I started seeding this other big field. It's just about um, almost out of seed, so that's what I'm going to have to do is go get more seed. Now, I started that area there where you see the line. That's where I started seeding. So I'm going to have to uh, go back to that side eventually. But I figured let's get the big meat part of this field done if possible. Um, I have a lot of field left to go, but I have several days. So that is the first and foremost thing to do is to try to get some seed. Um, so I went back and I adjusted the UI to be 100%, so it's hopefully this fixes my issue. Um, I hope I don't have a problem connecting here and driving the vehicle to this spot here and hitting auto drive. Fingers crossed, everybody. We're going to go to the shop. Go. Yeah. It seems to have fixed my issue. The UI can't be too small because that makes this not work right. It froze my game up like three times trying to record this episode. So, that is good news. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and buy more seeds. Um, I don't know if we need more than a pallet, but let's buy one pallet right now. And I want to get more fertilizer as well because we've we topped that off as well. Almost out of it. Now, I wanted to, and this is another thing I mentioned in the other iterations of me trying to record this episode, um, this field needs to be limed. And the problem I'm having with liming this field is that once it's plowed and it's already been sowed with seed, you cannot lime it. And my lime machine probably only has enough lime to do two passes on the field going uh, horizontally across. So I will be here all day applying lime to this field. So I may just avoid doing lime now until I have more money to buy a better liming machine and to buy a lot more lime and keep lime in stock. Um, it's something we're going to have to fix at some point, um, but uh, that's something I'm going to have to figure out. Now this is also getting fertilized at the same time, so this has already been fertilized almost to the second stage, actually to the third stage. So that's good to know. I don't need to fertilize later. Um, but I will want to lime it at some point. So I think my liming situation is going to have to be a little bit different at some point. Because this, this little lime spreader that I have is just not going to cut it. Not for these fields at least. Alright. Remember I said before, I don't feel like this is cheating because you could load the bags one at a time. I've done it. That's what I do with my job every day is load trucks up, and it doesn't make sense that you couldn't do that. Is there anything else we want while we're here? Big bags of any kind. Rolled salt. Bales, we don't need anything right now. Nothing in there leasing any items right now. Garage, owned items. Oh, we bought a silo too. I don't know if I should mention that, uh, but I bought a small silo. I did that already in the first episode. So yeah, I, I might sell this fertilizer sweater. I mean, I'm going to keep it for now until I have something else because I might need to use this to spread fertilizer uh, to get to the first growth stage or second or third growth stage with the fertilizer at some point so that's something I need to consider 
And we are officially out of seed, so they are waiting on us. What? Where's the seed going? Oh my gosh, no. Oh, the fertilizer just filled the tractor. Oh, uh, well. I now have a trailer full of <laughs> fertilizer. Yeah, that's that's gonna stink. I'm gonna have to dump it somewhere. Oof. I was I should have made it a bail loading pal a bail loading trailer first. Should have done that. Well, we'll have to figure out how this is gonna work. I don't know that he could fill fertilizer from there. I mean, we're going to try. We're going to have to try. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to dump fertilizer on the ground. And there's got to be a way to fill it. Uh, it's got to be. It's got to be a way. I'm hoping just driving up next to it, the truck, the, the, uh, machine is just going to pull right from here to fill the remaining fertilizer. Now obviously it's not going to be at all and I won't be able to empty this probably anywhere. But, oh well, I've dug my own grave now. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. I guess I can get a milling machine to, no that's not going to make a difference. I don't know what to do now that I'm going to have a pile of fertilizer somewhere. You can't rebag it. There's no way. It's, it's just going to have to be refillable somehow. All right. Well, we don't need to go to the garage now. We need to go right to the seat to the machine that's doing the seating, because we're going to attempt to fill it with both fertilizer and seed. I just don't have a good way of getting out to that field without having to go over a ditch. The one problem with this map that I've had so far is that whoa, come on truck, what are you doing? A car? Jeez. All right, we made it. Now to see how this works. Hopefully they can fill up on both from here. I know I've done it before where they filled up with. Um, seed and the stuff from the pallets and stuff from the trailer, but never never while it's in the actual bed of the trailer. So we will just have to see how this works out. Almost there. Alright, it opened up both, so let's hope that's what did it. Seed first. Fertilizer next. Let me back away. Come back. Nope. That did not work. Well, we have to figure something out. This will be an interesting, interesting solution here. I'm wondering if a pile will work for the other fertilizer spreader that I have. I really screwed myself by hitting the R button. I don't want to dump it yet. Oh, this is unload here, so maybe Control I will mean I can. It'll just empty it into another pallet or into one of those big bags. I don't know. I mean, we don't need fertilizer right now on the other machine. It's fine. I can always run back out and bring more, but just fingers crossed that this works. Because, hey, I can, can, can left control I as it's unloaded here, and I'm hoping that just, like, unloads the fertilizer. First, we'll get the seed out first. Try this. Nope. Wonderful. Well, at least my trailer is empty. That's real nice. 
guys. All right, take two. Let's try something else. Let's hook up to this fertilizer spreader. Oop. Let's hook up to the fertilizer spreader. Let's see if I can pick that up off the ground. It's got fertilizer in it already. Interesting. But it doesn't seem to want to do that. So I just have a pile of fertilizer now on the ground. It's only a way of picking it up and putting it into something than which that I can actually use. That really stinks. What in the world did I just do? I now have a speed bump just lying in my trail, right in the space of my pathway here. I'm really upset with myself. I'm gonna have to spend money to get a to get a milling machine just so I can do this. Ugh, as if the milling machine even works. Or get a front loader attachment. Pick it up with the buckets. And maybe load it into the fertilizer machine that way. I, I don't know. Let's let's upgrade this so it at least has a front loader on. I don't even know. I don't even know if this machine's even worth having a front loader. It's so weak. I feel like it's a waste of money. I think I might just have to leave my pile of shame in the middle of my area here. Ugh, that's such a bad feeling. Such a bad feeling knowing that I did this. Not just leaving it in here, but like, I, it would have had to been dumped somewhere. It should have been dumped somewhere else. At the very worst. But man, did I really do myself a number. That's stinkus. Well, that means in the meantime, I could try to find a solution. It's going to bother me if I don't find a solution for this. Really badly. I just don't know how to pick it up. I just don't know how to, I'm going to pick this up without spending freaking tons of money to do that. Well, you know what? I'll have to do this off camera in another video. Like, I'm going to figure, I'm going to test some things uh, on another account, uh, another another save game. I'm going to pour some fertilizer in the ground and see what's the best way to get it. Can I get it back in bags like this somehow? Or back in a trailer like this? And is there like a fertilizer, is there a way to storage for fertilizer? I don't think so. Let's type in tank. Back. Could be under silos. Nope. Water station. Pallet cell points. Nope. Sheds, grain drying, buying points, production, nope, I don't know what to do, I'll definitely have to figure that out, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a process, but I'm going to figure it out, I'm just going to figure it out, so, let's just put this away, for now, thought of mind. I'm not gonna bother liming this field until I have better equipment. Um, so right now it's just gonna just be an underperforming field in that regard. Uh, but that's okay. This field here is gonna be 100% uh, uh, treated. Uh, remember, I don't have weeds on right now, so that's not gonna be a problem. So that's gonna be something totally fine. And then I don't have any more trees to cut down. I might have one more tree to cut down. Don't know that I need to though. Cut you down. Can I, can I cut you down? I can, but I won't. One of the things I'm going to also have to figure out, because I told you I need to figure out where to sell my bales at, maybe that's something I will figure out. 
uh, according to this, the bail selling points are. They're going to be, I think they're going to be the same locations for this. Um, Buckley Farm. Normally, you'd sell it. Um, you can sell it loose. They're not taking it loose. Or you take them to the. I'm not sure. Let's go explore. Let us explore a bit. So, on our map, what do we have to hit here? The O'Connor Farm. What does the O'Connor Farm do? I heard cows when I drove by it a second ago. Makes me think. Cell point must be somewhere around here. I wish they told you what it, what was here, but they don't tell you what you sell at these points, do they? The O'Connor Farm looks like it accepts silage and grass, so that's what I'd be selling silage at. Loose silage. It's not likely that's where I'd sell other stuff so that's where I'll sell silage let's go find the Buckley farm and just take a look what that looks like Buckley farm is straight south of here so I'll just go straight there so much. It's going to bother me all the heck that I don't have a way to pick that up right now. I, I, a milling machine would be great, but it's going to be $5,000 to buy the milling machine. Not terribly expensive, but then I need a machine that can actually run it, which I think my tractor actually can. I think my tractor can actually run the milling machine. Hold on a second. What do I have tractor-wise? I have a 74 watt kilowatt 100 horsepower 45 horsepower. What does the milling machine do? Oops. It needs 95. Okay, so apparently my tra one tractor will do it. So I can pick it up and move it if I bought the milling machine. So one way or another, we are buying the milling machine. have a way to pick it up without it having to use a front loader because there's no guarantee that a front loader is going to be used in all situations so don't know that we need it yet okay, let me go right here and we should be coming up on the Buckley farm Okay. This looks like it's the beginnings of the Buckley Farm. Oh no, sorry, duh, this is my lumber mill. Yeah, that's where I go to my lumber mill at. And here's the Buckley Farm. This would make sense if this is where hay bales are sold. But I have no way to know until I have a hay bale to test it out with. Actually, I could buy a hay bale and test that out, but I'll just be wasting money. <sighs> we'll just hope that I can do that. If worse comes to worse, I'll just hold the hay bales till I figure out where to go with them. Um, 
I know that in seasons there are machines that will do work to the um, actual hay bales themselves, like move them or destroy them or I don't know exactly. Like they, they turn them into something else and I just don't know what places do that. And I don't think any of these places that I recognize do that. A supermarket wouldn't do that. Maybe the co-op might. That's water. The garden center wouldn't do that. Elder farm. Milling. Milling what? What does milling do? This might be... Okay. Turns things into flour. I think that's what they mean. And that's where I'm going to be going to mostly to sell my my wheat and stuff. That or the Posey County Co-op. Well. Now that that's figured out. And this is what I mean, like this has been happening where I have to like take over every so often and realign. Alright. Back on track. So let us actually where am I going? Let's go back to the shop. shop um, from here. I need to get to the shop because I want to pick up my milling machine and I'll have to test out our I'll see if it works with this guy I doubt it will um, it might not have enough power to run it but it's worth a shot the trailer's there and everything so we're going to give it a, we're gonna give it a shot worst comes to worst we'll stop our cedar to try to pick it up How much does that tractor cost, by the way? The one that I'm already using. Oh, I can go. Might be able to afford this guy. I forgot about this guy. He's a really good tractor. I won't have enough money, but I could take a loan to get it. But otherwise, this tractor would be able to do it. And then the tractor that I'm using. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's just get another one of these. I can afford it. These are just a good all-around tractor. With that being said, let's get your butt to the shop. So we're going to sell you. Or maybe we don't sell you. You're. I feel like you're... You're so cheap. Oops, and 50 mile an hour sign is down. I feel like having more tractors, even if it's like a beat around tractor, we just keep you for what you can use, what you can do. So we'll just keep you. But now that we have you, can you hook up? You cannot. I did not buy you with the attachment with that. So. Let us get that equipment attachment. Oh, you jerk. You can't do it at all. That is a problem. Alright, well then we're just going to sell you because we didn't spend any money on you yet. Because that's one of the things about it. We will have to try some other things. Does the other tractor have that ability? So those tractors are really only for pulling. 
What about you guys? If I did buy you, could you attach to the front? Well, you're only a puller too. Are you only a puller? Front linkage. I could afford you if I sold a few things and got a loan. I might consider that. I might consider getting a loan just so I can get that milling machine and a stronger tractor. All right, you know, that's what we got to do. We'll, we'll pay off the loan as soon as we possibly can. I don't like taking loans, but it is what I, uh, just to fix this, this stupid problem that I caused. It's going to be enough. We'll get the tractor that I want. With the front attacher. bit more money. Could also lease just to do this, but I could use a big heavy tractor, and this guy's going to be one of the only things that has a front attachment for, so we'll do it. Alright, let's get this situation handled. Nice, decent sized tractor. Now with you, let's move it over. This tiny tractor. Still going strong. So now I'm getting this milling machine just so I could load this into the trailer again. I don't know. I don't know it'll do anything else. I don't know that I'll be able to load from it or do anything. I don't know that I'll be able to do anything with it. I just I have no idea. It just might be loaded into this forever and I'll have to get rid of it by selling the item that it's in. I don't think I have much of a choice. Alright, oh, took out a sign. Uh, let's go. Pipe out. Turn on the milling machine. Tool is unfolded. Ah! So that means it'll likely work. Filling the tractor. Well, Oh, 
that is a solution. And that means it'll likely fill the other items with it um, once I find a place to dump it. Well, crisis averted, everyone. We also have a nice huge tractor that has a nice front loading piece to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go swap tractors. Front loading, a nice fr a front attachment. So we're going to switch tractors because this guy's a little more powerful, a little faster. The other tractor, maybe he can do these fields a little bit faster. But this guy can. It does seem a little bit faster, but I could be wrong. But either way, it is definitely a better vehicle for that job. Now, this guy doesn't have that front loader we were talking about, so he's a, just a tower right now. Oh, my goodness. That's all he's going to do is going to be a towing machine for us. Um, the other machine is a little bit weaker, but he could do you know, a plethora of different things around here for us. I feel like, again, three tractors is a little too much, so I might get rid of this guy. I just don't see the point. I mean, until I have a reason to use him at all times, I don't know that I need him. Plus, this guy, I can always add a front loader to. He'll be a better front loader than the smaller guy if I needed him to be. I definitely need to dump this fertilizer somewhere until we're ready to use it. That's the thing. We'll dump it, uh. We'll dump it, uh. right here. That was a bit in my butt, but now it's no longer in the way. It's out of the way a bit. This tractor's a little bit stronger, better at towing. Everything has been sewn, or is in the pro proper fashion of being sewn. I think we should just sell him. I mean, he's not going to get me a lot of money. But I, I just I feel like I don't need him right now. And there's no point in having extra machines if I don't need them. We get almost nearly all of his money back for it, too. So if we need to get him again, so what? So well. Repair. I guess we can't rip sell from here. I thought maybe we could. The 
This guy is working like a beast. Working like a beast. And the other guy, I guess we could go find some more trees to cut down. Um, let's do the one that's in front of the house here. I didn't want to initially because I think it looks kind of nice, but I could use the money now that I took a loan to get that bigger truck, so let's just go ahead and get it over with. Cut down her. Burn up this tree a little bit. Get her out of here. Jeez, some cars don't care at all. Just blast right through there. Okay, cut some of these branches. Any money for it, but we'll take it and we will make a profit and pay off our loan. Almost come done chopping this tree up. I hear church bells. Almost got everything done. I wonder if they would just run me over. I don't. I haven't checked that yet. If they just run people over. bunch of pieces here. Let's get our tractor. Let's fill her up. Big pieces first.
top view off. Oh man, that didn't work. Okay, let's get you to the lumber mill. Sell you off now. Great little tractor for what I used you for. But let's get the money we we might need it now. Took a loan that I probably didn't need to take, but... Oh boy. How are we doing here? Why have we stopped? Can't explain why we stopped, huh? Okay. Still have half the field left to do. Gonna make it. Anyways, guys, I really... Oh! One of these must have slipped off. I need a little extra bonus money. Well, it's really not bonus money. It's money that I forgot that I could have got, but... Take that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I really do appreciate you staying with me through this episode and seeing some of the things that are brought on. I will continue to do some things, and I will come back when there is an update on the season, when something changes. I am not going to be able to do much other than logging. I am just going to be looking around the map to cut some trees down to get some logging done. So um, hopefully there will be enough money just to pay off the loan. And that's about all I'm going to be able to do. In the meantime, while I wait for these fields to be finished being sown. Um, and then I'm going to need money to buy a harvester. So that's really what I'm kind of aiming for here is to get enough money to get a harvester. Um... Hopefully I don't have to buy one of these really cheap ones that does very little at a time, but that is my goal. So you get a harvester uh, by the fall and get enough money by then. So in the meantime, uh, my money is all going to be spent um, trying to get my loans paid off and continue to log. Alright everyone, thanks for checking in. It's been Chuck Thunder. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.